Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. I'm very excited today because we have a bunch of table lamps we're going to make. And the best part is these lamps will require no electrical wiring and will only cost a few dollars to make. The star of today's craft tutorial are these solar garden sticks. But by the time we're done with our lamps, you will not even recognize these solar sticks because they will be glammed up and embellished with bling, bling, and more bling. To begin, we're going to take this round black framed mirror I found at the Dollar Tree and embellish it with some rhinestone ribbon. This ribbon is self-adhesive so no glue will be required. I love crafting with this rhinestone ribbon because it is so beautiful when the light hits it. And it is very flexible and can be cut to size. I'll leave a link below in the description box to my Amazon store so you can purchase some of this rhinestone ribbon for your own crafts. On the sides of the frame, I'm going to add some loose flat-backed square gems as well. Instead of hot glue, we're going to apply some clear tacky glue to adhere the gems to the frame. I find the tacky glue doesn't dry as fast as the hot glue, so it gives me enough time to make adjustments if I need to reposition the gems. And I also prefer tacky glue for some of my crafts because when the glue dries, it doesn't leave clumps like hot glue does sometimes. I'm also adding another strip of rhinestone ribbon right below the gems and there will be a strip right in between the gems that have a gap. And here's what the mirrored base looks like so far. Next, I'm going to place the base of a plastic wine glass to the center of the mirror. The plastic wine glasses come in a four pack from Dollar Tree, and I really like detaching the base because, as you can see here, the base has a mirror like finish that looks great with many of my home decor pieces. This mirror base is already looking beautiful, but let's put it aside for now so we can work on the solar garden stick. We're going to take a black solar garden stick and embellish it with some loose flat back gems and rhinestone ribbon, just like the ones that we used earlier on the mirror. This will give the entire lamp a more cohesive and consistent look and feel. Once the garden stick is embellished to your liking, we'll attach it to the mirror base with some glue. I'm using hot glue here because it will dry quickly, but for a more secure hold, I would suggest adding a stronger adhesive like E6000 or Fix-All. And here's what the solar lamp looks like so far. But it's not complete. 
without a lampshade, so I have placed a clear bowl with a scalloped edging to the top. Make sure the bowl you use is clear because you'll want to make sure enough light will shine through to charge the solar garden stick during the day. That way, when nightfall arrives, the solar light will turn on to keep your space illuminated. Now, I have another idea for this solar lamp, so we're going to take it back to our crafting table and continue working on it. I have removed the lampshade as well as the top part of the solar garden stick, exposing just the top end of the stick. We're going to take a pack of silver napkin rings from the Dollar Tree and insert them so that the neck of the lamp has a chrome-like finish. To keep the rings secure, apply a tiny bit of hot glue on the edge of each ring. The rings come in a six pack, but for this lamp we'll only need four of them. And here is a third look for our solar lamp. Let me know what you think. And if you have made it this far in today's tutorial, drop me a note with the word lamp so I know you visited today. And with that said, we're going to work on our next lamp. For our fourth lamp, we're going to need one of these soldering tools. It's like a hot knife or wood burning pyrography pen that will help us burn a tiny little hole in the side of two black frame mirrors that we're going to be using. These are the same mirrors we used for our previous lamp except we'll need two of them and they will be adhered together back to back. To begin, we'll need to measure out a circle the size of one of the solar garden sticks. The circle will be cut out on the side using the soldering tool. I have the soldering set to the lowest temperature setting and it is plenty hot enough to melt the plastic frame into shape. Just make sure you unplug your soldering tool as soon as you're done and put it aside to let it cool. Once we have the hole created, a half circle on each frame, then adhere the frames together with some Fix-All and hot glue. With the two round mirrors attached back to back, we can now work on embellishing the attached mirrors with some more of this rhinestone ribbon. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would help me greatly if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any of my glam home decor DIYs. And if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up as well. Your support will really help me continue providing you with more amazing and creative craft tutorials. And the best part is, subscribing and giving me a thumbs up is absolutely free, but will make a world of difference to me. Here I have placed the two attached mirrors on its side with the hole facing upwards and I'm placing one of the silver napkin rings from our six pack on the side of the frame lining it up with the hole we created with the soldering tool. Then I'm going to add another silver napkin ring directly below on the other end of the mirror along with another plastic wine glass base.
seams between the two mirrors, I'm going to place a thin strip of rhinestone ribbon over the seams. For our solar garden stick, we can embellish it like we did for our first few lamps, but I'm going to swap out the black stick for a silver one. Then I'm going to add a silver beaded mesh all around the silver stick. For a more complete look, I'm taking the same silver beaded mesh and covering the rest of the black frame of the mirrors. Since I used hot glue, there are a lot of hot glue strings, so I discovered a nice little hack to get rid of the pesky glue strings. Simply take a dry paintbrush and brush them off. The glue strings will stick onto the paintbrush. And here's the final look for our fourth solar lamp. I have placed the stick inside the hole at the top that we created. This lamp, I think, has a very unique look. In fact, I would say this one is a one of a kind. And if you want to change up the look of your table decor, you can even remove the solar stick and place some long stem flowers inside the hole. And here's what it looks like in the dark with the light illuminated. The solar lamp gives a really nice glow to the space with pretty shadows dancing on the wall. Now on to our fifth lamp. This one is going to be a very different design. We're going to need one of these chrome napkin holders and we're going to need a bag of silver straws as well and a bag of clear diamond shaped gems. All these materials are from the Dollar Tree so this next lamp is only going to cost us a few dollars to make. The first step is to stand up the napkin holder and place a couple of the straws perpendicular to the napkin holder along the rounded edges of the napkin holder. I'm placing mine about a half inch apart from each other so I can fit the diamond shaped gems in between the straws. Start by gluing two straws parallel to each other onto the napkin holder. A little bit of hot glue should suffice. Then adhere the diamond gems between the first two straws starting from the top and work your way all the way down the length of the straws. Based on the length of the straws, you should be able to fit around 11 diamond gems between the straws.
Then repeat this process until the entire napkin folder is done. The strategy I felt that worked best for me was to apply all the remaining straws to the napkin holder first, each about a half inch apart. Then I could focus on adding the diamond gems. And when you're done, your lamp should look something like this. It sits perfectly on the table surface and in the back you can insert your solar garden stick or you'll notice here I chose to place a battery operated puck light instead. Either would work well for this crystal lamp. And when the light illuminates, it bounces off the diamond gems beautifully. Let me know in the comments what you think and drop me a note with the word lamp so I know you made it this far in today's tutorial. And now for our sixth lamp, we will be making use of this metallic pencil holder. It has a mesh design which is perfect to let the light through. For embellishments, I have broken apart some silver plastic spoons and embellished the round part of the spoons with some clear flat background gems. For the base of the lamp, I took a gold candlestick holder at a yard sale for $1 and painted the whole thing a silver metallic grey. Now I'm just going to add some hot glue to adhere the embellished spoons to the body of the candlestick holder. And here's what the candle holder base looks like, fully embellished with the gems. On top of the candlestick holder, I'm placing a short glass bowl. The bowl is round. And then I'm going to hang some short crystal garland strands all around the rim of the pencil holder. These crystal garland strands are attached by jump rings, so it's pretty easy to loop and hook the jump rings into the mesh holes of the pencil holder. Inside the center of the bowl is where I will set the solar garden light. I have detached the stick as we won't need the stick, so save that for a future craft project. To ensure the solar light stays put, you can glue it to the glass bowl. Then the last step is to place the pencil holder upside down above the solar light. With the wide mouth of the glass bowl, the pencil holder will sit against the bowl and not even touch the top of the solar light where the mini solar panels are. 
That way, light can pass through during the day to charge up the light. In the evening, when it gets dark, the solar light will kick in to illuminate your space. As a finishing touch for this lamp, I'll just add a tiny little gem on top of the lampshade right in the center. You could also place a crystal doorknob instead if you want to make a bolder statement. And now let's take another look. I think this lamp is so cute and unique. The crystal gems on the base make the lamp absolutely sparkle. Comment down below and let me know what you think. For our seventh lamp of the day, we are going to take these two clear bowls from the Dollar Tree. These bowls come in a shoe pack, which will be perfect for our lamp. We'll also be using this firm foam piece to make the base of our lamp. In the center is where a solar garden stick will go. So we're going to create a hole the size of the solar garden stick. When you place a solar garden stick into the foam, use a small level to make sure the stick is not lopsided. We want the stick to stand up perfectly straight at 180 degrees. And to make our lamp taller, I'm actually going to attach a second solar stick to the first one. Then I'm going to cover the sticks with this silver diamond mesh I found on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below in the description box to my Amazon store so you can purchase some for your crafts as well. To dress up the base, I'm going to cover the foam piece with some mini mirror tiles. Once I know how much I'll need, then I can place them onto the foam piece. These mini mirror tiles are self-adhesive, so no additional glue will be required.
I'll also add some rhinestone ribbon to cover any gaps. For the lampshade, we're going to take this clear plastic bowl and place it on top of the solar garden stick and cut a small hole to fit the plastic stick from the solar light through the bowl. For that, we'll be using a soldering tool to make the hole after we have measured the size of the hole. I'm using a black sharpie to draw the outline of the hole as a guide before we use the soldering tool to create the hole. It may take a while to get the hole just right, but once you're done, you can insert the solar lamp inside the bowl and through the hole. Then we're going to embellish the top of the bowl by creating a fake knob using a silver Christmas ornament ball and other silver embellishments. And here is what the lampshade looks like. For our second plastic bowl, I had adhered the base to the top of the solar garden stick and now I'm adding a string of silver beaded necklace all around the outer rim of the bowl opening. Place the lampshade we made earlier on top of the bowl. It will rest comfortably without shifting because the silver beaded necklace is keeping things in place, preventing the top bowl from slipping off. And here's a final look for our tall solar lamp, another one of a kind lamp to admire. Comment down below and let me know which of the lamps you like best from today. And if you made it this far in today's video, drop me a note with the word lamp so I know you visited today. And if you enjoyed today's craft tutorial, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And in the meantime, stick around and check out my other beautiful DIY home decor pieces.